Hi guys and welcome to my Urban Electric tutorial using the Urban Decay Electric palette. If you want to see how I got this look then just carry on watching. First I'll be applying some micropore tape just to the outer corners of my eyes to create a really nice sharp wing. Then I'll be applying a primer to my eyes. I'm taking the MAC Painterly paint pot and just applying this on my ring finger just to warm up the product. Then I'll be taking my Maybelline colour tattoo in endless purple on a flat synthetic brush and applying this to the middle section of my eye. I really underestimated the power of these pressed pigments, so to be honest you don't really need to apply a coloured base, but I did anyway. Then I'll be applying a bronze just to the, my crease of my eye to create a nice transition colour. Now to the start of the show, this is the Urban Decay Electric palette, I think it's absolutely amazing. I'll be taking the colour called Urban, which is what inspired me to do this eye makeup. Then I'll be applying this to the middle section of my eye and then working outwards, just really really focusing on that middle section. Then I'll be applying Fringe which is sort of a teal blue, a little bit of green kind of colour, it's absolutely beautiful, just to the inner corner and the outer corners of my eye and when applying this I'm going to sort of merge this in with a purple colour to create a nice sort of mergy, sort of chameleon kind of looking colour. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This look really, really is all about the layering and the blending. So I'm just going to layer the colours back on and then blend it in with a blending brush and then layer them back on, just to create a really smoky look. Then after I sort of blended it all out, I decided to add chaos to the crease as well because I felt like it needed a, that little bit extra. And I'm glad I made that decision because afterwards you can see it makes such a difference just to add that blue to the crease. Then after that I'll be lining my lower lash line with that fringe colour on a very very small synthetic brush. Just lining all under my lash line and including the inner corner as well. And just to the other side as well because obviously we want to be symmetrical. <laughs> Um, and then after that I'm going to take that chaos colour and apply it just to the outer corner and the inner corner of my eye. Then after that I'm going to smudge urban all under my lower lash line. Then after that I'm going to apply quite a lot of eyeliner because I feel this look needs to be quite dark in the inner rims of the eyes. So I'm lining the inner rims of my eyes using the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner as this stuff really does last for ages, especially now it's dried up a little bit in my little pot. I'm applying this with a small angled eyeliner brush. I think I got it from Crown Brush and it's pretty good so if you want to have a look at that I will pop a link to it below. Now I'm taking a liquid liner, this is from Prestige Cosmetics, it is a US brand. Um, again, if I can find a link to it, I will pop a link to it below. Um, I'm just going to line my upper lash line, not focusing on making it too neat. I'm only applying this so it just blends better with the false eyelashes I'm going to be applying later on. Then I'm going to curl my eyelashes, standard procedure. I'm taking these eyelash curlers, I'm pretty sure they're from Tesco's or some, sort, some form of a supermarket. Um, and then I'm taking my L'Oreal Volume Million Excess Mascara. Um, I'm just going to apply this to my eyelash as you would a normal mascara. Nothing too fancy going on here. Um, if you do happen to get any mascara dots, just let them dry, then blend them off later. Then I'm going to apply some Eldora eyelashes, these are H106, so they accentuate the outer corners of your eyes, I think they're absolutely beautiful, really really easy to apply. Once the glue has gone tacky, I apply it starting from the centre and I'm working on the inner corner and the outer corners of my eyes, just really playing around until they look the most professional I can get them. So obviously I want to apply them as close to the, lower, the actual lash line itself as possible, so I just sort of play around until I like it. And then once they're sort of applied as best I can get them, I sort of start to crunch the eyelashes together, if that makes sense. So they sort of blend in with my natural eyelashes. If you haven't applied false eyelashes before, I really do recommend just playing around with them um, before you wear them on a night out because they can be quite fizzy and it's actually quite hard to film from this angle, so just bear that in mind. Um, I actually have applied my foundation concealer off camera just because it would take too long for the video. I apply the Makeup Forever HD foundation and the Nap Pro Long Concealer. Um, and after I set them with some Rimmel Stain powder, I apply some bronzer. This 
this bottom set is from a brand called Jane. Um, if I can find it, I will pop the link below. But again, it's a US brand, a US brand um, that got bought over for me. So it's, I'm just taking this on a Sigma brush and applying it to the outer corners of my face. And then I'm taking my blusher. Today I'm using a NARS Dear Hardy blusher. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face and blend it in as well um, until I like the intensity that it gives me. Bear in mind this is quite a strong blusher, but I think this is quite strong anyway. So I'm taking my MAC MSF and Soft and Gentle, this one I'm going to my products. I'm going to apply this to my cheekbones, to my cupid's bow, to my nose, and a tiny bit to the middle of my forehead just to give that sort of inner glow. I'm taking this on a Real Techniques contour brush as well, just because I like how fluffy the brush is. Then I'm going to contour my cheekbones and my nose. I'm using the Makeup Forever Sculpting Kit. Taking the dark shade on a MAC 188 brush and just applying this under my cheekbones, sort of my temples, the, around the sides of my forehead and on the sides of my nose. I'm going to blend this out with my powder brush later on, so don't worry, I'm not going to leave it with the harsh lines. Then after that, I'm going to apply my lip products. I'm taking the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Pencil, um, which for me personally is the perfect new lip liner. It's not too pale and it's not too dark. It's just that perfect mix of a sort of nudie brownie pink shade. I love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, and then to pair with it, I'm taking the MAC Kind of Sexy Lipstick, which again is my all-time favourite nude lipstick that I've ever tried. It doesn't. It's just perfect. A word cannot describe how much I love this lipstick. This is a matte finish as well, so it's just not too much. I didn't want to add a gloss because there's so much going on with the rest of the face. And that is the finished look. I really hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Really appreciate it and have a nice day. Thanks. Bye.